See you soon. In person, early voting is now underway in Oklahoma. Now all four states in the area are open for early voting. KOIM Samantha Walker joined voters in Ottawa County to learn what you need to know before you head to the polls. Voters in Ottawa County are ready at the polls to cast their ballots during the early voting period. Definitely bring your ID. It needs to be an Oklahoma state issued or federally issued ID. Um, it does need to be current, not expired. Sometimes people will wear their campaign t-shirts or a campaign hat or a pin when we would just ask that you refrain from doing that at the polling place. You can wear it all day long except for when you're at the polling place. During early voting, voters are able to cast their ballots if they're possibly unable to head to the polls November 5th. I had an appointment with the VA in Claremore and uh, it was going to take all day and I wanted to vote today because I wanted to make sure I made my vote. According to the Oklahoma State Election Board, more than 167,000 people participated in early voting for the last presidential election. The Ottawa County Election Board Secretary says they're expecting to see a high turnout again this year. You might be tempted to vote early to avoid long lines on Election Day, but election officials say even if you vote early, you should still expect to wait. Be patient. You will probably have to wait in line at least some point throughout the day. Voters like Travis Miller say they'd rather wait now. On election day, I kind of figured the lines would be twice as long. If I come in early, uh, even though the line's kind of long, I'm, I'm going to be able to vote today and get my vote out there. He says it's important that voters like him take the time and be willing to make their voices heard. Because I believe in America. Reporting in Ottawa County, Samantha Walker, KOAM News. Early voting in Oklahoma continues until Saturday at 2 p.m. You do not have to pre-register to participate.